Hi, my name is Ben Parslow. I'm an aerospace engineer here at the University of Manchester and we're in our new engineering building today. And I'm joined by Jules Popple. Hi, I'm Jules and I'm a primary science teacher, but I also write books to help teachers to uh, teach science in an exciting way in the classroom. Rosa is fascinated by flight and she often looks to the skies for her inspiration. She's always looking for things she can do in the world. And she's come up with an idea, the Great Glider Challenge. Would you like to join in with us and start thinking and working like an engineer? Jules, I think I've got something that can get us started. So me and my research team here at the university have come up with this glider design. So we've tried to make something that's really efficient and really simple to make. It's got different parts to it, including a fuselage here, uh, a wing going across, this part's the tail, and this part's the fin. And once we put one of these together and built it, we can actually use it to understand more about the pushes and pulls, the different forces that allow these things to fly. That's great, Ben. So this inquiry is all about flight. Now, your teachers might make a glider for you, or you might make a glider. And what we want you to think about is the things that can be changed. Now, anything that can be changed on the glider is called a variable. And we'd like you to look at the wings in particular and change the material that the wings are made of. That sounds great. If you'd like some suggestions of different materials you could use for this, you could make the wings out of cardboard like we have here, or you could use what we call foam board material like I have here. And the really important thing is when you're swapping out those materials is that everything else about the plane has to stay the same. And then when we're flying those, that's a comparative test because we're comparing the material of the wings and seeing which one helps it to go further. And now it's over to you. It's time for you to have a go. And if you do make some planes and you fly them, don't forget, take some pictures and share them with the great science share so that we can all see them.